All right, folks, welcome back. This is Bellatro After Dark, and tonight we're going to get our rocks off on the Medusa Challenge. Specifically, we want to win using only stone cards. We can only play stone cards. This is something that we've done before on the white stake level of difficulty, the entry level difficulty. We haven't tried it on the gold stake yet. If we want to do this, how about we play on the red deck, gold stake red deck. Red deck, we get the extra discard. If we want to win with only stone cards, maybe we need to discard to find our stone cards. Give it a try. Okay, we could take an investment tag here, but it might be difficult for us to get the 450 points with only stone cards. Basically, it's 50 points per stone card. So 300 we can do with six stone cards. 450 would take nine stone cards. We do start with some stone cards on the Medusa challenge. We have the 12 face cards are stoned in the beginning. I think we can't afford the skip here. We have a straight that we have to discard looking for the stones. Okay, we can play five. Dig for just one more. There we go, that's it, ship it. Okay, see, not so bad so far. Um, we do need some amount of plus molt in order to win the next round, so duo and order not gonna work here. Let's go buffoon pack. So rental juggler doesn't give us points. So basically that's it. Basically, if we don't get plus molt in the first buffoon pack or in the first shop here then you can't do this i mean we could try if you want try to get nine stone cards um well we can play five and then we can try to get four more the extra hand size helps okay okie dokie we have one stone card looking for one more Okay, looking for one more. Actually, wait, we need more than that. All right, that's it. We're cooked. Let's start a new one. Okay. So first round here, let's go four stones. We could play four or we can discard four. I guess it's kind of the same either way. I'm gonna discard first. We can play these five. Looking for one more stone card. All right, ship it. That's it. That's all we need. Okay, we can't take Greedy Joker. Can't make straights for Saturn. We've got to open Buffoon Pack. I can work with this. Holographic. Holographic is plus 10 molt. Generic plus 10 molt. Doesn't matter what hand we play. We can play high card with the stones. And I'm broke, so go next. Boss says minus one hand size. Hmm. So we can snap off a four. We can just play one stone card, 50 chips times 10 with the holographic already wins. That's it, just ship it. Okay. We do save some hands, so we save some money. We could go back in time. If we go back in time, we have more opportunity to remove stone, sorry, remove non stone cards from the deck. We get more stone cards from the Marble Joker. Um, yeah, let's go back in time. And that's all I can afford, let's go next. All right, so here, 200 points, easy again. We just delete a two, and then we can play the stone card, 600 points. So that is enough for the next three rounds. We get three rounds for free. We could take Supernova for high card. Eventually, that'll be, that'll be the thing. That'll just, that'll be the thing and save the rest of our money for interest, passing on the buffoon pack, passing on the arcana pack. If I have these jokers, maybe I don't need the buffoon pack. So let's go next. Snap off a six. 
And if I want to try to do the supernova, if I want to try to slow roll this, I should play one stone card instead of four stone cards. But we already know that this is at least 600 points with just the trading card, but then 900 points with the supernova. So it'll take us maybe four or five rounds before we can actually play multiple hands for the supernova. We'll get there eventually. Um... We probably don't need this rental troubadour, gives us minus one hand. I probably don't want the planet merchant. I would like to get the tarot merchant instead. Let's save our money for interest and go next. We can snap off a three and play a stone card. At least these first couple rounds go by pretty fast. Okay, now $28 redos. We can take a hung man here. To-do list, probably not going to be the thing that we want. I could take an Arcana pack. We can afford an Arcana pack. It's a jumbo. Um, Lucky cards, probably not important. We could use the Emperor here. We can use the hung man first. And then the Emperor. Temperance gives me nine bucks. Sure. I could wait on the Temperance. Um, I guess I'll use it now. That's fine. Go next. Uh, do I want this Celestial Pack? Celestial Pack takes me down to 22 and Trading Card takes me back up to 25. We could buy the Celestial Pack if we want. Um, I would be looking for Plutonium. Um... Yeah, maybe. No plutonium. All right. Ah, beans. Well, let's snap off a three and ship it with the stone card. I guess we'll hold on to the star and then the star won't show up in booster packs anymore. We have two Arcana packs. We have a grabber. Um, Eternal Juggler, I don't think I want. I think I want to leave... If I already have Marble Joker taking up a Joker slot, we can't sell the Marble Joker. Um, I need my Joker slots empty for points, maybe. Um, let's go... Let's hold off on the Grabber. We definitely don't need it yet. Um, but I want to open the Arcana Packs for money. Maybe we can take a gold card. We can make a gold nine here. Do another Arcana Pack. We can spin the wheel. Sure. Well, that's nice. Um, Priestess. We could sell the star. We could take the Priestess. We could try to get the Plutonium. We could just save the money for the Grabber instead of the Priestess. If we took the Grabber, Grabber would take us down to 19. Trading card takes us back up 3 bucks. So this is actually... Neutral on interest if we take the grabber now. Let's go next So snap off the two now we have a gold nine that we should try to dig for If we want to try to grow the supernova we can put the trading card over here and ship it with the stone card. Mm, this is still, okay, that's a thousand, but the next round we can play potentially two hands maybe. 29 bucks. So we can take the plutonium. We probably don't take standard packs because I don't want to add things that are not stone cards probably. We could take a celestial pack here. I guess a standard pack could give me Purple seal, I would be happy with. Blue seal could be useful. Gold cards, just straight up gold cards could be useful. Mega pack takes me down to $18 and then Supernova takes me back up to 21. Seems expensive for plutonium. So let's just go next. We can snap off a three. We can discard to try to find the gold card. All right, that's it. One stone card doesn't win. Ah, bummer. Suffering from success. Uh, we could take mail and rebate. Rebate on tens. 
maybe uh it's possible i think as a rental maybe i don't want to keep the rebate forever um let's go celestial for plutonium passing on the standard pack we could go one more we could take hallucination maybe not as an eternal um maybe not as an eternal uh sure i mean that's fair understandable okay fine uh do we want to go one more blue joker steve we shouldn't have gone one more go next okay so we can snap off a five we can discard the 10 for the rebate discard one more time still haven't found that gold card that's a bummer um so do we want to keep the rebate rebate currently represents maybe it works maybe we get one card per round maybe it's five bucks lose three dollars gain five dollars uh nah we don't need it i'm not gonna pay the rental fee stingy all right <laughs> frugile all right we can baron nope no face cards no kings troubadoob Extra hand size, probably not important. Maybe we just keep the extra hand. Extra hand is worth an extra dollar. We don't need these standard packs. We can take a blank voucher. Okay, maybe antimatter in the future. Let's go one more. Popcorn misprint. If I go one more, that'll take me down to 25, 28 with the trading card. That's fine. We get a death card. Okay. Pick up a death card. Death card, I can copy the gold card. We can snap off a seven. Sorry, what's the boss situation here? Boss is my diamonds are debuffed. Do we want to use death card to make another gold card? Um, maybe. discard so do we want to turn a six into a nine sure we can play the stone card one more stone okay so like two thousand points per stone card we can beat the boss with three hands we can't do parking money Go one more. Mercury, nope. One more. Golden ticket. Bummer. Go next. How about we snap off this four? All right, just find my gold cards. We have a gold nine. That's maybe good enough. Okay, stone card again. Plus 14 on the supernova. Averaging about two hands per round. We can take the plutonium. We can check the collection here. And the last card we used was death. Maybe I want to open Arcana first. Arcana has strength that I don't care about. It has priestess. Um, my understanding is priestess cannot give me plutonium if there's already plutonium in the shop. So maybe we still do it for the money or i can take the plutonium here i can re-roll and then there won't be these planet cards in the shop we could take a cardomancer it's a rental i'm into it um celestial pack so venus nope we skip earth and saturn um, I guess I'll get rid of one and keep the other. So rental we can pay for with the trading card. Maybe we don't go one more, we just go next. We get a fool for plutonium. I'm gonna keep the fool. 
Maybe not plutonium. I think we can do better than plutonium. We can snap off a three here. We can discard for gold. Gold. All right, we do need three stone cards to win, I believe. Well, maybe it's actually just two stone cards. Plus 16 molt on a supernova. Okay, we did it. We can take the antimatter here. We can go buffoon pack. Um, yeah, maybe we don't want or need delayed gratification because we're using our discards for the trading card. We could open this Arcana pack. We could reroll first. Reroll takes us down to 26. That seems fine. Okay, banner, nope, we're using our discards. So let's go Arcana now. So I miscounted a little bit the money. Um, we can go devil on, maybe make another nine, make another gold nine. Okay, um, I could use the fool for a devil and just get more money. I'd like to use the fool for, um, let's see here, what would I like to do? Um, hermit would be good. I guess the hung man would be good. Maybe gold cards are not the worst. If I got death, I would copy a gold card. So maybe that's an incentive to use the fool for a devil. Maybe what we do is, let's just go see what the cardomancer gives us. Justice is not something that I need. We can snap off an ace here. We can, I don't know, somehow just discard. Okay, um, I can make this two into gold. I can play the stone card first. Okay, stone card again. And then four or two, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Um, I will make a gold card. Let's make a gold four. Justice doesn't work because I can't play the glass cards. Ship it. Okay, we probably don't do madness. Though maybe, I don't know. Um, our only jokers that give us points, we have uh, Marble and Supernova. So if we got rid of Trading Card and Cardomancer, we could just use Madness and that could be fine. I'm attached to my Trading Card, to be honest. Let's try a Celestial Pack for Plutonium. Nope. Not taking a Standard Pack here. We can reroll once. Saturn, nope. If I go one more, it takes me down to 26. That's fine. We could take Wrathful Jerk. We took, could take Hologram as an Eternal. Maybe we don't take it. How about let's go next. Judgment. Okay. What does Judgment do? We get Driver's License. Okay, let's stick this one over here for now. Snap off a six. Okay, stone card, ship it. Stone card again. And just grow our Supernova, plus 22 molt on the Supernova. Okay, so we can go one more. Um, I have an extra Joker slot. I'd like to replace this delayed gratification, go one more. We can take a Cola. Could be an interesting skip tag in the future. Uh, do we want to go one more? If we go one more, it takes us down to 23. We have the gold cards. We could probably go one more. 
gratification. Bummer. Go next. Here, the moon we don't care about. We can snap off and eat. We can try to win in fewer cards if we want. We can try to grow the supernova. So let's play this stone card. Okay, we can play another stone card. So this is about 5,000 points. And then now let's discard for gold cards. Okay, we can play, we only need one more, ship it. Okay, uh, we can take a celestial pack for plutonium. We can take a mega pack for plutonium. Um, there's plutonium, kind of expensive for a Pluto card, but it's fine. There is an economy tag. If we didn't open the booster packs, we could have skipped for 80 bucks. Um, I'll take some other skip in the future with my double tag here from the cola. We can get the boss reroll voucher after the next round in case we need it. Let's go next. Strength is not important. So let's play a stone. So one stone is about 8,000 points. So that's 8-2. This should be 8,300. Um, I think this doesn't win. Pretty sure. Nice. Discard. And play the stone. Ship it. All right, plus 30 molt on the supernova. Um, Vagabond as another source of tarot cards. Um, nah. <laughs> uh, I guess Vagabond is good with gold cards. I guess if there is a case for the Vagabond, this is it. So, I guess. Fine. You got me. Vagabond. Now take the boss reroll. Now take the Celestial Pack for the Plutonium here. We can do a little more rerolling. We could get the Cloud 9. We have five nines in the deck. I would have to maybe get rid of the Cardomancer if I want to keep the Vagabond. Use Judgment first. Trio, absolutely not. All right, pick up the nine here. So I can, I need to sell these tarot cards to make room anyway. So sell the tarot cards. I could reroll down zero. I could use the standard pack and go to two instead. Let's go standard pack. I could take a gold six here, make another gold card. Sure. Go next. All right. Um, I forgot about the trading card. So that's fine. That's fine. Okay, nobody panic. We just play one stone card. That's 10,000. Okay, we play stone card number two. Okay, we can turn the five into stone and then ship it. We can make another gold nine. All right, snap off an eight and discard the rest. All right, give me some gold nines. Bummer. All right, so here's the last stone card. I don't get a tarot card from the Vagabond. We just ship it. Mm. 
hiker. Let's go celestial first. Easy, quick decision here. We just pick up the plutonium. We can go buffoon pack next. Um, two eternals. Um, Eternal rental Andrew. Hmm. More discards could be useful in theory. Maybe we don't need it anymore. We can skip. We can reroll one more. We can take Senor Huesos here. Huesos, um, fortunately perishable, so maybe not gonna do it. Can't take the parking here. Let's go next. All right, so here we can play a stone card. We could play two stone cards. I have death. I can use it to make another gold nine. Okay. Um, let's turn a five into a nine. Why not? Okay. We can play one more stone card. Okay. Tower, I can turn an ace into stone. I can save the tower. I can sell the Empress. Play this stone card. Fool for death. That's great. So let's snap off this ace. Let's throw away all the stones. Okay, this nine I can discard, no problem. I want to keep this too. All right, so basically my idea is this two becomes a nine, this seven becomes stone first. Two becomes a nine. And ship it. 38 molt on our supernova. Okay, we. Cloud9 is perishable. We could replace it with Golden Joker. Or, I don't know, in three rounds. Actually, we get two more payouts. Two more payouts from Cloud9. That's fine. Let's go Tarot Merchant. That's huge. We could take one of these blue jokers, I guess. Maybe blue joker instead of cloud nine. Bummer. We're not gonna get as much money from having all these nines. The boss here says no repeat hand types. Oh no. Bummer. Let's spend our money. Um, are there any skip tags that we're interested in? We can skip for a mega buffoon. We can skip for a speed tag. Nope. Go one more. Two Eternals. We can spend eight bucks here. We can buy the two standard packs. Mm, purple Seal Queen. Purple Seal for more tarot cards. Uh, sure. Standard pack. We can skip, and I guess um, I could use Blueprint on the Marble Joker and get more stone cards. I think we have plenty of stone cards. Let's go next. Oh, that looks freaky. Blueprint on Vagabond. Okay, we could snap off a 10 here. We could start by, we'll do the stone cards first. So stone here. I get the hung man, okay. So star, I can use it, I can sell it. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to use it while we have the opportunity and then I'm gonna hang him. Okay. Vagabond gives me another star. We get a chariot. We get a purple queen here we can discard. Yeah, so we can go star here. 
and chariot and play this stone card ship it okay temperance gives me 20 bucks i'm going to use the trading card i'm going to use the star sell the star i'm also going to get a tarot card from the purple seal so um let's just use the temperance and that way we get maxed out interest we can snap off the ace we can discard the purple seal we get a magician which we don't care about draw some more gold cards all right we can play three stone cards uh, we don't care about this magician. We're not going to get any tarot cards from the Vagabond. Let's just ship it. All right, we've got 42 molt on the Supernova. Okay, I want the Arcana pack. So we do a little re-rolling. Star doesn't matter. Death here. And then open the Arcana pack in case there's a Hermit. It's a Jumbo. We have Temperance for 20 bucks. We have Hermit for 20 bucks. Okay, so probably going to use Temperance here. We can use Death to make more gold. We could hold the Death card to make more purple seals. I kind of like that idea. Make more purple. So let's... I guess we don't have to sell the magician right away. Let's go ahead and just use temperance. And do a little re-rolling. There's a devil. We can make another gold card. Um, yeah, maybe. Definitely better than a ma magician. So we can take the plutonium here. We can go one more. We get a hung man here. Um, I like that idea. I'll take a hung man. I'll take a standard pack. Standard pack, we could get a blue king. Blue king gives us plutonium, maybe. Mm. Let's see here. We do got the boss coming up. Blue seal. Yeah, why not? All right, go next. Okay. I want to get purple so let's play all of these stone cards well i want to use death i want to use the hung man maybe maybe the vagabond's not going to do that much right now that's okay play the stones Okay, let's snap off the ace. Yeah, here's a great opportunity. 10 and nine, I can hang them and then snap off the ace. That takes me up to four bucks. We can still get a card from the Vagabond if we want. We can go ahead, we can play, let's say, one stone card. We can play five stone cards looking for the purple seal. We get lovers. Uh, lovers doesn't matter. So we can use lovers. We can discard. We can play one stone card first. Mm, one stone card might be too much. So let's discard. Okay. Uh, discard one more time. Trying to find that purple seal. Uh, mm, maybe discard like this. All right, we didn't get the purple seal. Do I want to keep holding on to the death card? Uh, uh, yeah, now we can make another gold nine. Yeah, that seems fine. All right, go ahead and ship it. 
Just never lucky, I guess. Cool. Plutonium? Um, we just used a death card, right? Maybe we'll go Arcana first in case of a fool. Nope, we get the opposite. We get Temperance. So, take Temperance for the money. Um, I'm going to take the Plutonium here. And if I end up with a fool, that's acceptable. Um, could take the free roll here. Nah. All right. Boss says play no repeat hand types. We got a win in one high card. We can go one more. Golden ticket. Nope. Temperance again. Bummer. Plutonium. Sure. Um, that means I can't re-roll here. If I sell the tarot cards, we can re-roll down to zero. And we can get the Vagabond value. Go ahead, go next. Someone said before, by the way, that trading card gave you extra money when you copy it with the blueprint. It's incompatible. Just to clear that up. Alright, for the boss here, let's... We can snap off one of these gold cards. Maybe we don't need this many gold cards. We can snap off a nine. Maybe I can snap off one of the stone cards. Maybe we don't need that many stone cards. Um, yeah, probably the correct thing to do is snap off one of the stone cards. So let's remove a nine. And this card looking for gold. Other gold cards, that is. Other gold cards. Cool. So we can go one, two, three here with the high card and ship it. Chariot. Okie dokie. Death card. We get clearance sale. So. What's the order of operations here? I will take a clearance sale because it gives me a discount on the Celestial Pack. We can take the Plutonium. I will take the Death card. That gives me just enough money for an Arcana Pack. Fool, I can copy Death. Cool, I guess. Or I can use the Fool for Plutonium. Uh, the boss says discard random cards. These are skip tags that I'm not interested in, even though I have the double tag. Um, okay, so what does that mean then? Uh, fool for plutonium or fool for death? If I use death, do I want to turn a gold card into a stone card? Do I want to turn a stone card into a gold card? Um, yeah, no. Use death. Use the fool for more death. Get rid of this chariot. Um, go next. All right, we can snap off a gold six. We can play a stone card first. I shouldn't have done that because I want to do this. All right, let's go steal and then death. I want to make room for Vagabond tarot cards like Hermit, for example. So Empress I can use. Stone card I can play. Priestess. Yeah, maybe. Mercury. Ah, okay. So one, two, three stones. I'm going to play them. Okay. We get an emperor here. Sure. Um, I'm going to wait on the Emperor. I'm going to go end the round with the stone cards. 
plus 50 from the supernova. Okay. Um, this means I can use Hermit. I can use a Fool for another Hermit. I can then use an Emperor for a Hung Man. That's cool. Celestial Packs for... Nope. Just looking for Plutonium. There we go. Level 13 High Card. We did get a Blue King, didn't we? Haven't seen it. Okay. So, we... No Satellite. Um... All right, hologram we don't really have room for, so we can go one more. We can sell lovers to pick up a death card. So we got death and hung man here. Uh, fortune teller is plus 39, but we already have plus 50 on the supernova. Let's go next. Okay. We... 10 and 8, we can hang them. We can play a stone card. We can play multiple stone cards. Let's play four stone cards here. Or do I want to discard first? Discard first. I can use death here on the 7. I can save the death for the purple seals. I guess I will use death. Play five. Cool. Eight in the stone card, we can hang him. The death card, I can, I'll keep it. Play all these stones. Okay, we can spin the wheel again. Holographic Marble Joker, that's kind of fun. Okay, how about we use Death on the Purple Seal. We can discard purples now and discard some of these stone cards. We can probably play one of these stone cards if we want to play one, maybe. Or we discard purple seals first. Magician and sun I don't care about. So I guess use the sun, sell the magician, play do you want to discard first? Play three stones, play four stones. Let's play three stones. We do have the extra molt from the Marble Joker. Yes. All right, Temperance gives me 15 bucks. So Sell the star, use the temperance, play all these stones, ship it. All right, 54 molt on the supernova, $31 reduce. So, last card we used was temperance, right? Temperance. So maybe let's. Reroll for tarot cards first. Sock and Buskin, Splash, nope. Jupiter, all right. Arcana, Fool for Temperance, or we can hang them. These two stone cards, we can hang them, or we can get 15 bucks. Let's hang them. Uh, we can go Celestial Pack for Plutonium. Skip the rest. Go next. Alright, so this is kind of fun. Basically, I have all stones except for my gold cards and my enhanced cards. So we can snap off a stone if we want. 
we can use strength on the stones if we want. Oh. That was one dollar too many. I uh, should have just played the hands first. We're not going to get any Vagabond value. That stinks. Oh well. Ship it. Okay. We can play a bunch of stone cards and get the free discard on the purple seal. Maybe not. We can discard the purple seal. Let's play one stone card. Now get the discard on the purple seal. Priestess, maybe. Bummer. Alright, only one discard left. Let's discard. We can play one stone. Gives us the best chance of the blue seal not being discarded. Let's go ahead and ship it. Bummer. Lost a gold card. I guess we get the blue seal, so maybe it's fine. All right, the boss forced the card to be selected. Okie dokie. Celestial pack gives me more plutonium. Maybe we should have taken the arcana pack first in case I had a hermit. Fool gives me more plutonium or we can spin the wheel. Uh, let's get more plutonium. Okay, I want to spend down for the Vagabond, so let's pick up seed money here and go next. Okay, so here's the deal with trading card. We can't do it. We go stone one. Okay, we use strength. We use world. That stuff doesn't matter. We can play uh, two stone cards. We could probably get away with two stone cards. Okay, if I do two stone cards again, it should be 60,000. We could spin the wheel here. Ah, never lucky. All right, so two stone cards again for 60,000. Sun. All right, when we discard for the trading card, these things are going to go away. So now, how about we snap off a stone card? Discard the purple seal queen. Lovers, that's a dollar. Um, give me more gold cards. Bummer. All right, you go five stones. Ship it. More plutonium. Temperance for 15, sure. We can buy these buffoon packs. Um, Constellation, a little bit late for the Constellation, I think. So we just skip. Buffoon pack. Um, Giga Chad, we can re-trigger our stone cards. We'll just skip. Go one more. All right, I actually can't here unless I buy and use Uranus okay go next all right five stones ship it um, Empress I can't use maybe I use it on the king Priestess, we could get Plutonium. Okay. 
stones again, chip it with five. Okay, now we've got Hermit, so I could do the Hermit, maybe. Maybe now we're fine, so yeah, I don't know, let's uh, sell Justice and snap off one stone card. Okay, we can play five. We can discard purple. 21 cards in the deck, discard purple. Hey, we get a fool for plutonium or hermit, I guess. Take a hermit. So, Hermit here, Fool gives me Hermit, I can use Hermit, I can discard for purple first, okay, I can go Temperance Hermit, I can play the stone cards for the win, and then uh, we'll go blue seal first. We'll use Pluto then Hermit. Uh, go ahead and ship it. Cool. Use the Plutonium. Use the Hermit. Go next. Okay. Um, if we want, we could replace this Vagabond with Ramen. It would be tasteful, perhaps. We could open a spectral pack. We can reroll first. Hey, look at that. Blue ramen. Okay. Sun doesn't matter. Temperance is two bucks. Let's go celestial for plutonium. Nope, all right. Um, red card. Holographic, but too late. We can pick up a baseball card. We have one, two, three uncommons, I guess. Mm, yeah, I guess with the three uncommons, the baseball card is better than the driver's license. We take those. All right, world. More plutonium. And spectral for immolate. Nope. And onk doesn't really work here. We can make a gold seal on one of the stone cards. Sure. All right, that's it. We can put the blueprint here if you want. We can, I guess, Supernova goes first, then these uncommons. All right, go next. All right, if it's not a stone card, all we gotta do is snap it off here. We can spin the wheel, bummer. All right, for the stone cards, one, two, three, four, five. Ship it. That's it. 1.5 million one shot. Could it be the Violet Vessel if we needed to? Um, let's see here, 67 high card. So that's plus 67 from the Supernova. Level 22 high card. Mostly from shopping, mostly from booster packs. We did have a blue seal, but we didn't necessarily draw it that often. Um, Marble Joker adding cards to the deck every round. Despite Marble Joker adding cards every round, we still ended up with 44 cards. We managed to get, uh, let's see here, eight less than we started with. And that's without using glass cards, that's with just the hung men. Of course, trading card balancing out the Marble Joker. 
we probably could have gotten to the point of having only stone cards if we wanted to if we wanted to start removing the gold cards but i chose to remove the stones and keep the gold cards because i thought it'd be more fun that way keep the gold cards gold cards pretty fun with the vagabond um let's see here if we wanted to we could keep going a little bit i guess Got some perishables here, but we could keep going. We could spin the wheel. We could take an extra hand and go next. Boss says play only one hand. See, we could do that. I guess for a couple more rounds we could do that. So here we can, you know, we can snap off a nine. We can play the gold seal here. Go next, um, Arcana, Arcana for justice, nope, uh, we could go one more, we could go standard pack, Magician, nope, go next, so here we can snap off the queen, Priestess, doesn't give us plutonium, we play the gold seal, okay, so now we're down to um, only seven cards that are not face cards. Something that we've done before, if you wanted to have a deck that's only stone cards on just like a normal gold stake run, not in the Medusa challenge but a normal gold stake run, um, we've done zero cards in the deck before and if you could do zero cards then you just turn the one card into a stone card and then that counts as the whole deck being stone, maybe. Maybe that's not in the spirit of it, but here we go. We can snap off this king. We can play these five stones. One more round left on the baseball card and the ramen. Um, boss reroll doesn't matter. Standard pack. A little bit disappointing we didn't get polychrome cards. We could have got a polychrome card from a standard pack and turned it into a polychrome stone. We could have made a red seal stone. That's pretty fun to do. Next, we need 2 million points. We can skip here for a high card if we want to level up. Yeah, what if we take a celestial pack? Uh, we can skip. Go next. So, take the orbital tag. Okay, now that's level 28 high card, we can skip to the boss. So here, we can't discard for the trading card, but we can play these five stone cards. We can play another five stone cards. And another five stone cards. Um, let's see here. Even though we have the level 28 high card, we still get 250 chips from the stone cards. So the stone cards are half of our points compared to just playing a high card nine. Ship it. There we go. We lose the baseball card. We lose the ramen. But we get a campfire. We need 29 million points. Uh, what are the odds? You think 29 million? I'm willing to give it a try. So, boss says all face cards are face down. Do we have any perishables? Do we have a perishable campfire? Polychrome campfire? Yeah, so here's what I'm thinking. Let's go Arcana. I want Judgment Works. We can take Judgment. We can sell the photograph. Um, standard Pack, probably not important. Telescope, probably not important. What are the skip tags? Top Up Tag. Okay. Economy Tag. Priestess, for sure. We can sell the Plutonium. We can sell the Moon. 
I can keep the tower and make one more stone card if we want. Buy and sell the rental. I'm probably not going to buy Steven. I could take the Giga Chad. Uh, maybe we've reached the point where the Giga Chad doesn't actually help that much. We can go one more. Empress is going to be a no. Justice is going to be a no. Let's sell the tower. Um, actually, I think here, let's get rid of the trading card. And go next. So, top it up. Shoot the moon as a foil. We don't need. Um... Yeah, we could go one more round. We could skip all the way to the boss. Give this a try. So, one, two, three, four, five. Ship it. All right. Three million, that's it. We could do a couple of these. All stones. All stones. Aha! I have a face down face card. That means I have a queen. Hey, would you look at that? We have an emperor. Maybe I should have been trying to do that. Because this is actually going to score a lot more points now. Um, I do have another purple seal in the deck. You know what? You know what? Maybe we gave up too soon. We could get the steel card just for extra molt. Anyway, ship it. 5.25 on the campfire. Alright, solid. 15 million. Well, I mean, we beat Anti-10. We made it to Anti-11 with only stone cards. Um, goes to show you, I guess, the uh, Marble Joke is pretty strong. Uh, depends on when you get it, but Marble Joke is pretty strong. Even if maybe stone cards are kind of mid, maybe stone cards are not super strong, maybe, well, stone cards being able to add 50 chips to a pair or add 50 chips to a high card, that's pretty strong. I think the tower, the tarot card that gives you stone cards is maybe not so strong. Maybe just getting one stone card at a time, not very impactful. But Marble Joker giving you access to, I don't know, maybe plus five stone cards, maybe plus 10 stone cards, and then you sell that after three antis, that's pretty good. The thing that makes Marble Joker better is when you have a scaling source of plus mult. The thing that makes Marble Joker better is the same thing that already makes pairs viable and so if you can already play pairs on gold stake whatever you're doing to make pairs happen that also makes marble joker good marble joker fits into that same build um, i think marble joker again this kind of it's kind of like the hiker where you keep it for a little while you build up the chips you add the chips to your deck and then when you're ready to replace it with some other kind of x molt or some kind of scoring joker then you sell it and it's not like these other kind of scaling jokers these stacking jokers where you have to keep them forever supernova you have to keep it the whole time marble joker you can keep for a short time and then sell it um, the cards that it adds to the deck the stone cards that it adds to the deck maybe that makes it more difficult for you to draw your blue seals maybe that makes it more difficult for you to draw your gold cards but if you are playing high card or pair, then maybe you don't care about that so much. Um, when I do play the gold stake, when I do play pairs, I'm pretty liberal when I'm taking cards from standard packs. Anything that gives me money. If it's a gold seal, we take it. If it's a gold card, we take it. Doesn't matter what rank. Anyway, that's my take on the Medusa challenge on gold stake. Red deck this time. Take care, everyone.